break the test? Right now? Right now. <laughs> Hey, what do you got here, bud? Hey. What 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 is this today? This is the Vivid. I don't even know the model. Really don't. You don't even know what the name of it is? Maybe it's the Peak. Bruh. Name and description is what you're trying to say. Name and description. The undisclosed. The undisclosed. V? I think basically should we just give the rundown? I guess, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. It does. It looks pretty nice. Um, first time seeing one, and, and honestly, Vivid drove up to the building and said, hey, I got this golf cart, you wanna check it out? He yeah, absolutely said yes. I mean, looking at it, it's got a... Really snout front end. It's got a snout front end, very... Um, it's pretty aggressive. Pretty havoc, havoc, havoc front yeah, end very looking. Very havoc looking. Yes, very havoc looking, right? I don't mind it, but like, I, something's, something's throwing me off about this here, bud. You know, the, the chin, it's just got this... It's got that... It's got a chin on it. She got a Jay Leno on her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Rose Close beats boy, find a new way. Anyways, it's got this, what, independent front suspension here. Yeah, um, it's like an A-arm It's got an A-arm coil over. Four-wheel disc brakes. Yeah, four-wheel disc brakes, aluminum chassis. Man, they really uh, greased up them uh, grease fittings there. Good thing, you know. That's all greased up there. I thought it had electronic steering, but it must just be the way that it's this is designed here. It just has a nice steering feel. Oh, you, you just it. turned that jam nut. And the other one. Solid. Okay, well. Um, look how many different freaking options there to put this damn spring. I kind of like that though. You got, got a bunch of options to put your suspension on it. So let's start talking about the cart overall. Can you turn um, some lights on for me? Can I see it with the lights on? Let's. Sure. Run through the, and the horn. We gotta do a horn test. Okay. We're not buying it unless it has a good horn. Let's hear it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good that's, how about some si signals? Okay, just the corner then, eh? Reminds me of like Star Fox 64 style. Four ways on. Yeah, there's got some lights up how about here. The, some oh yeah, I, I do like that. I always like that. Yeah. How about for the back? Oh, sequential in the back, I really like that. It does remind you of the old Mustang. That is nice. Wanna touch a brake light switch for me? Sure. Get the blinker for you. Wow. Wow. It's actually kinda comfy. The seats have a little bolt to them, or they feel like a little bucket. Feels nice and like sturdy. Check this out. Put your weed in there. People don't realize this, but you can put your weed in there. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is this a cell phone pocket that I'd probably lose? The technology. Or this. The, you know? the innovations of these cards. Just like <laughs> this is a cell phone holder. That's what's got to be. Why you just got? When did you get this phone? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, like this deep, lift up. This deep tub here with oh, nice yeah, little leap the, yeah. So a big old cooler in this thing. And one thing we did like about this is this nice lockdown and this lip, right? Talk about that nice lip. Um, this is a pretty deep cooler section with the drain plug. I did like that. Seatbelts all the way around, Eco X gear sound system. And this thing folds up too? 
Uh, yeah. It's got the where the pins fold it. I don't think we've down. ever seen one that actually worked before. Complete it. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Mm. There you go. You know, dude, I bet that really does help a lot. Put your pen in there. And... Just hanging around. Yeah, I mean, this is, if this had to go in the back of your truck, you want to close your tailgate, or if you had a camper, and you just needed that extra room, you got a, a toy hauler. I mean, that just took off two foot. I mean, I bet this, this seat gets a lot, but I kind of like it. Simple as... As long now, as it can stay robust, it's going to be great. To be fair, I, I think they could have done a better job with this plastic, the choice of plastic they used. Ooh, I think it got you on that. Like, hey, feel this. Plastic. And then feel this. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they could have did it like, a little better there. You're saying get a little solid piece on here? Yeah, it's a yeah. little bit more flimsy than you think. Should be at least. But all the this is all real nice and tight. Yeah, the overall fitment of everything looks great. I think I unplugged its backup camera. Backup camera? Where is that located? Right here. Oh. Pretty nice feature. It's hanging around. Single battery. I really like the seat, see. And so here's and there's the brake reservoir right there, easy nice. maintenance. Look how thick the frame, you know, the frame looks nice and sturdy and solid. Yeah. Looks coated all the way through, no rusting. Shiny no. aluminum. Aluminum frame. Eco battery. One toe switch. High low. High low on the speed. 19, 25. Yes, it's pretty plain, but I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I also kind of like that offset to the side. So know. that's a backup camera. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's probably one of the least annoying reverse beepers, yeah. you know? Huh. Yep. So street legal, ready to roll. All right, dude, give it the shake. Wow, I mean, it's pretty, pretty you impressive. Get that with that solid rear end, you know? You can see how the front. Yeah, it's really solid down there. And to be fair, I think the only thing clanging is the seatbelts. All right, let me get some rolling shots of you rolling by. Driving up to the guy. Walk that. You want to help this thing can do, right? There he is. Easy. Oh, that's okay. Cookie, give me, let me off. <laughs> get me off of here. Nope. Hold on, let me get the outside shot of this. 
<laughs> works every time. <laughs> All right, let me switch to the other view. Okay, go. And action. Whoa, there he was! There he is! No, he doesn't want to go! Whoa, I almost got him. Uh. Tire might be a little big. I like the look. Here's some more Yamaha E club car -y. I feel like they took everything and put it in one. They did. Yeah, that guy got some big concrete chunks out of there. Too. <laughs> I mean, he's a. He looked at least 10 to 12 pounds. We caught him with his pants down. <laughs> he was like, oh. I've been here, it's coming, dude. Yeah, dude. Just, a new car. Why don't you reverse it up? It always seems to be a problem. Okay. Not today. Not today, though. Alright, let's see it over here. It sounded more... the long hill like a champ but one of the things is these these removable counter pins makes this a little bit yeah. like that a little noisy it's the only issue with that gotta have a little bit of compromise so overall i mean pretty solid car overall it is a pretty solid car not very noisy seems pretty well built uh, it's got the good power in it I like some of the design features of it. I could see where that back lifting up seat, like the foot plate, could be a good, could be a selling point for some, right? Mm -hmm. so I need that. Um, here's the other good thing about it. Most of these parts are already made and sold aftermarket. The seats are the same as you can get from Magex. The front body clip looks to be the same as I have it. Um, the wheels and tires are aftermarket. The Eco Exterior sound bar is aftermarket. The roof is aftermarket, and that's not a bad thing, right? So these are items that are already produced and put on a cart, so you don't have to really worry about, like, oh, is this manufacturer going to give me my replacement? They're already made, right? Right. There's some things that aren't, right? So the, the back seat kit's a little different. It, it's the same rip off of the Genesis 250, but it does have an upgraded arm thing, the cup holder. It is a lot more solid. Um, yeah, the armrest is phone hole and the nice uh, open cavity there. I really do like yep. that. I like the torch red color too. I think it's a nice. The, I think the whole cart looks the looks plastic good. like um, you know feels really solid, yeah. like more of a real nice ABS plastic. The other thing that we talked about before too is like the finishes, right? Mm -hmm. You look at the finishes on this cart. Everything's finished nicely. Yeah. You don't see anything left off. You don't see any random holes popping out. Right. And all the A surfaces do look really Everything real looks nice. real tight. You know. Right. Everything's flush. Everything's the way it's supposed to be. So it's a good represented unit. Mm -hmm. um, I do like this sleek. Yeah. It's a subtle, but great touch. Of course, we're a fan of the of the gussy steering wheels. You yeah. know, so this have on here. I will say this car did steer really easy. I almost thought it was electronic steering. It's not. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I felt like it's got good range. It's got good mid range. It's got good acceleration. And options for additional lithium power. Yeah, where you can drop another skinny in there and go to a 210. I mean, I like that little fish finder over there. It's yep. kind of cool. For the backup camera. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. It's, well, a nice, it's a nice card overall. Why don't you ask, nice uh, you know, all the viewers to subscribe and tell us subscribe. what they think hey, about us, this. Tell what them what do they... you think about the Vivid? And should we sell it? Hmm, I don't know if we should. All right, final thoughts on the Vivid here. Final what do you think? Final thoughts on the Vivid here. Uh, we kind of drove it. We told us what you think about it. Maybe you have a Vivid. Maybe you like yours. Tell us about the Vivid. If you're interested in Vivid, we're going to try to find out some more information. Oh, tell us tell us about the Vivid, right? They don't know. We just test drove one for the first time. I like to know what it is. I, I, I personally, for my first time, like it and everything. This car has five miles on it. You know, who's got a Vivid that's got a thousand on it? Who's Who's got these things running around? Fair enough. We'll ask the guy right. how, how many years they made this. But, okay. uh, two years. I think they've only been out for two years. But okay. so far, they seem like a, it, it seems like a pretty solid car.
I mean, you gotta do an intro, the whole thing. Do we? What the fuck is this piece of shit?